Welcome back to another episode of Amanda's Kitchen. Today, we're talking about the 10 reasons why I think you should get a flat top griddle. I am using the still made flat top griddle and I wanted to tell you all about it. I'll leave a link in the comments below. If you've already liked and subscribed to my videos, thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you too can get notifications when a new video is posted. Okay, reason number one. It is unique. This transforms your stove into a hibachi grill. It takes up the entire space of the stove and you can just cook on the entire surface. It sits right on top of the stove. It's easy and there's no setup. Reason number two, weather. Sometimes it's hot or cold outside. Sometimes it's raining and that's just not a fun way to grill. So with a flat top, you just can cook your stuff right on the stove. Today it is cold and rainy and I really wanted steaks. So I got some steaks and I'm gonna grill them up on the griddle. Check out these bad boys. Reason number three, less dishes. If I were to use each of these eyes to cook, I would have four pots and pans and lids and the sink would be piled high with dishes. With this, it's just one flat top. Less dishes makes mama happy. Speaking of cleanup, it is so easy. All you have to do when you're done cooking is squirt some water on there, scrape it down, and wipe it with a paper towel. Easy peasy. I love the cleanup process because it is just so simple. I recently did a full review on the still main griddle. In the video, I go over how easy it is to clean up. I'll post the link here. Reason number five, the large cooking space. You can fill this thing up with the amount of meat and veggies that you want. Tonight we're having steak and some vegetables and we're gonna use the flat top. It's going to be so good. What I like to use the griddle for is breakfast because I can get my pancakes going, my bacon going, some eggs, and it is perfect. Reason number six, zone cooking. What I love about zone cooking is that you can have your meat go in here at high temps and get that caramelization on it. But if your veggies are done cooking, you can set them to a, a different zone and just to keep them warm while everything else is coming together. There's a really great resource on the Still Made website that's a chart and it shows those cooking zones for... <laughs> the chart shows recommended temperatures. I'll share the chart with you in this video. Reason number seven, price. This particular model cost $169. That is a great price compared to the outdoor grills that you can get that can range up to $300 to $400. This is an amazing value. And y'all know I'm cheap because I don't spend a lot of money unless it's worth it. Reason number eight. The still made griddle is made in the USA and I love supporting American companies. USA, USA. Reason number nine, flavor. <laughs> Flavor. This makes your food taste so yummy. It was designed to have airflow that makes it taste good. It makes your food taste delicious and it makes the meat extremely tender and juicy and flavorful. It's so good. Reason number 10. It is so fun. You get to be a hibachi chef. I know you've always wanted to try that. Or maybe you wanted to try to work at the Waffle House. You can do that. It's fantastic. Let's cook these babies up. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the griddle so we can start heating up. And now we're gonna season the meat. For the steak, we're going to season it with salt, pepper, and Everglades seasoning. Oh, that looks so good. So for tonight's dinner, I decided to get his and hers. I think so pretty. His, hers. What I'm doing now is I'm going to check the zones to make sure they're at the correct temperature for what I'm cooking. We want to get a good sear on the steak. We want to get a good caramelization on the onions and a good temperature to cook the broccoli as well. 
looking good. It's recommended to sear the steaks for one to two minutes at 500 degrees to get a good sear. Then I'm going to move it over to 350 to let it cook. I like my steaks medium. How do you like your steaks? Comment below. Let's throw on the onions. All right, let's get some oil down. And let them get going. That looks good already. Next, we'll get on the broccoli. <laughs> Don't we always have a runaway broccoli? I like to season my broccoli with vegetable oil and floury seasoning. I am so excited to get these steaks on. Let's get that sear going. All right, it's time to flip them. They should not stick if we have a good sear on it. Ooh wee, yes, here we go. Perfect, one to three minutes on this side. Gordon Ramsay, eat your heart out. Let's <laughs> give our veggies a stir. Oh, look at this. Look at the caramelization that's starting on the onions. I like my steaks medium, which is an internal temperature of about 155. You can also sear the edges of this to get a nice full sear. Listen to that sizzle. See that? It doesn't take long. To take our steaks up a notch, we are going to add rosemary and butter to finish them off and give them an amazing flavor. So what we're gonna do is take some butter and put it right on top of the steak and in between. That butter is gonna melt down and we're gonna add our fresh rosemary. And as it melts down, gonna give the flavor of the rosemary all over the steak and we'll flip it around to get it get it coated all over the butter is starting to melt and so we're gonna give it a flip to get it coated on every square inch of the steak let's check the temp again we're looking for about 150 We're getting there, a little bit longer. All right, we've got this going uh, right at 150, so I think it is good to come off and let them rest. All right, let's pull them off. That rosemary has infused all throughout the steak and that butter. It looks amazing. All right, let's get the vegetables off. Hey, that was pretty good. The steaks have come off the grill and I am starving, but let's go over the top 10 reasons one more time why you should get a griddle. Number one, it is unique. It can transform your stove into a flat top masterpiece. Number two, weather. 
you don't want to be grilling outside whenever it's cold or raining or too hot. So just do it inside. Number three and four, less dishes and easy cleanup. This is the only thing that I have to cook and it's gonna take me just a few minutes. It is so easy. Number five, large cooking surface. We made all of this with this space. So you can grill whatever you want on the space that you have in front of you. Number six, cooking zone. Remember, if it was, the steak was done, so we put it on a back burner so it could continue to cook and stay warm. Number eight, it's made in the USA. We love that. Number nine, flavor. Well, I'm about to taste test and let you know exactly how good it tastes. And number 10, fun. That was a lot of fun to cook. And now it's gonna be a lot of fun to eat. Let's check it out. Cut in here. Oh my goodness. That is the perfect color. so good. So good. Alright, I'm going in for a bite. The rosemary and the salt. And it's so tender and juicy. Mm. I'll be here all night. <laughs> If you want to purchase your own still made flat top griddle, I will post a link in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bon appetit. Let me tell you why I love my still made griddle. Reason number one, because, uh, reason number one, weather. It is so cold and rainy out right now and I wanted a steak, so, Thankfully, I've got my still made griddle that I'm going to cook me up some steak. I don't like this. Reason number eight. The still made griddle is made in the USA. I don't know about the other griddles. I don't know about the other griddles, but I do know that this is made in the USA in Kansas. And I love supporting our soil. American companies. Okay. Reason number nine. Flavor. Like I said earlier, if I wanted to cook on. Ugh, I don't know. Reason number nine flavor. This makes your food taste so yummy. It adds juice and. <laughs>